Hi everybody, this is Lonnie. Uh, today we're going to engrave on these outlet plates. These are nickel, plate, nickel wall plates. Here's the box. You can get them on Amazon. And they've got all kind of, they've got the double receptacles. They've got this light switch sweat plates. Um, this box of six was 20 bucks. Um, they make packs with the switch plates and the outlet plates all in them, so get what you need. Um, some of the things that you're gonna need is you're gonna need like a business card. When you hit autofocus, if the, la if the laser beam goes in one of the holes, it's gonna throw it off. But if you put a business card on top of it, do your autofocus once it's done, make sure your piece doesn't move, slide off the business card, and now she'll be ready to go. Today we're gonna do it on a 40 watt machine. You may be able to do it on a 20 watt machine. I know you can probably do it on a 2 watt. Um, I don't know about the 10 watt. Okay, so but today's is going to be 40 watt. Another thing that you're going to need are clips to hold it down. If you get the regular We Create Grates, these um, clips are on the official We Create page in the file section. I made them. Um, made the file and put it there. Um, these will clip onto the grate and hold your piece in place so that it doesn't move. Okay, let me get it set up and we'll be right back. Okay, so here it is set up in the machine. You can see the clips on there. Holding her steady. Now we're going to go over to the machine and we're set it up. Alright, so here we are. We have it on our We Create machine and all we're going to do first thing off I'm going to hit a circle I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put the circle on there and the circle is the only thing on the machine now I'm going to go place the business card on the project and hit autofocus It's gone over. I'm looking at the machine. I'm making sure the red dot is on the metal or the paper, which it is. It's going down, auto focusing, and returning to home. So now I'm going to raise the lid. I'm going to slide off the business card. And I'll come back and I'm going to design it. I'll hit out refresh here. And there's my picture. All right, I don't need the dot anymore. I'll delete it. Now I'm going to go out and I'm going to get my image. And I'm going to hit upload. I've got an image out here. I'm going to pick this. That's what it's going to be. Now I'm going to go in here and take out all the white. I'm going to hit edit image, magic paintbrush, and I'm just going to click on the white to take it out. Do the easy spots first. Now there are a couple small spots on this and I will show you a trick on getting to them. Uh, okay so right here's a small spot. I try clicking on it. And if you can't get it, I'm getting lucky today. Okay, see how that disappeared? It needs to hit the gray. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to undo it. Now, to get it to go to that small area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off of the paintbrush. Now I'm going to zoom in with my mouse wheel, click back on it. And now I can click that area. And if I click off it, I can move it. I can zoom it and manipulate it. I think that is all the areas. Oh, there's one I missed. Click there. Click there. Click there. Right, that looks like all of them. We hit confirm. And there it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to size it. 
where it fits on, on here. Uh, it is a little bit square. I need a more rectangle, so I'm going to go up here to where it says scale. I'm going to unlock the padlock, and that lets me contort it from a square into a rectangle. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just by moving the mouse wheel. And I'm going to make sure that I don't go past that border. That looks just about right. For my settings on this, um, I'm going to use 100 power, 150 speed, and 200 density. Because there is no metal setting when you go to look at the menu. All right, so that looks fairly good. Uh, if you get it close and you need to move it just a little bit, while the image is highlighted, you use the arrows that are down by the between the numbers and the control key, and that will let you. I'm using the mouse right now, but you use that those little arrow keys down there, and it'll move it slightly. If you're um, switch plate is at an angle and you can't get the edges to line up you go up here to rotate and you can type in I want to go counterclockwise hit the minus key and then whatever you want say 25 degrees or 25 that's say point 25 and it'll move it just a little bit and then you can zero it in mine looks to be uh, you can also grab the top up here and rotate it. But again, I think mine was okay. Alright, so it's set there. I'm going to go ahead and set it off to uh, go print. And I'll be back when it is done. Okay, so we're done. I'm going to pull it out of the machine. Take the clips off. Box. Cover out. There's what it looks like right now. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off and see if that changes it any. Alright, there it is, rinsed off. Change some of the lighting here, maybe it helps a little bit. But like I said, this was nickel. Um, just a word of caution, do not use PVC plastic. If you engrave on PVC plastics, it releases poison gas in the air and it's not good for you. Um, there are other kinds of plates that aren't metal. There's these kind here. Um, this is one I did for above the kitchen sink. It's a composite material. It's not PVC. Um, Franklin, Br Franklin Brass Plates makes it. This was done on a 20 watt machine at 100 and 100. Um, but it was for disposal on one side. You do it with or without the picture and light on the other side so you don't get it mixed up above the sink. Okay, um, we'll tidy up here and be back with you. Okay, so in conclusion, we made these outlet covers on a 40 watt laser. Power was 100, speed was 150, one pass and the density was 200. Then we just washed it off when we were done and that was it. Um, nice easy project. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. If you use a 20 or, or any of the other ones and you get it to work, post your settings and comments for everybody else to use. Thanks.